here. Oh. Sorry, my microphone was, uh, still to where I was playing Pokemon from yesterday. Uh, everything should be live. It's kind of hard to tell with this game a little bit because it does minimize upon tapping out. Maybe I should have seen what I was setting beforehand. There are not a lot of settings here. However, it is borderless, so I don't know why it would, um, specifically close. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna start playing a game called Graveyard Digger. I got it on sale. Um, I'm getting a lot of new games because I, I paid 30 bucks for a really good bundle on, uh, on uh, Humble Bundle. So if you check it out, there's a uh, really good, I think it's called, um, it's the Augscast one, they do it every year. But it's got like a lot of games on it. Um, if you're not too long, you might get some of the, the uh, exclusive ones. Either way, uh, I'm dropping frames, and this is Graveyard Keeper, so we'll uh, jump right in. As far as I understand, it's kind of like Stardew, but more, uh, more, a little bit more, you know, more bodily focused. Instead of growing crops, we're it's an ordinary day, and our hero is hurrying home, where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in every, uh, an everyday routine, there's a place for loving love and feel that, especially when you know that someone misses you. Like a bastard. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can you, I go home? There's always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll, t uh, he'll help you sort everything out. Who? A strange vision. What's in, uh, what is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Yeah, well, can I just hit E again? Can I just hit E and again? I just hit E for escape. Okay. Oh. I thought that was my mouse for hit my I clicker for a second. I'm like, and hold F. <laughs> Holy sword! I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? <laughs> Why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig you up. Or dig up Jerry. A red eye? I remember. Oh, Sard, that's right. I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you. Who are you, and where the Sard are we? Huh. Must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. Remember that sound? Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Hmm, he could be dangerous. You know, I think I'll be better if I wait here. For, uh, I wait for you here. Might scare the poor thing. Got a fresh corpse from the down. Wow, a talking donkey. Huh? You, you can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. Now I'm earn five carrots a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to town. Uh, you get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Oh, and he's pushing the card. Fucking communist donkeys. You know, because he's an ass. <laughs> hey! Hey! What are you staring at? Grab the juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it into the morgue. I don't remember exactly remember why. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it, it'll be fun. It might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. Let's do it! Whoa! Eat a pick up and drop lard. No, no. Oh, it's the king. So I do know a little bit about this game. Uh, not too much, but a little bit. Sorry, I like this place. Feels like home. But the body on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh. Game tab itself out. I don't know what that is. Oh, yes. Slice from flesh. Uh, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. 
This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right, but how could I forget? Maybe because I'm talking skull with amnesia. It is uh, right that you don't know where you are. It is right that I'm a... Uh, is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the sword up and do what I tell you. Promise will tell, tell me how to get home. You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for beer. Talking skulls never lie. And bring the beer to me. So he wants us to pull some flesh off this body. Got some Nutella. You can make make delicious baked goods out of that. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Yeah. So, um... What I do remember is that, like... These... The graveyard is, like... Uh... Scored based off how well it's kept. And, uh... Bad bodies mean bad graves, so... Let's bury it! Open desk. Uh, put the back of the, put the body or what remains of it in the grave. Bury the great worms. Do not use those skulls. I'm set on star for decoration. What? My favorite kind of decoration. Those two very specific things. Nicely done. Hmm, the burial certificate. I remember money, alcohol. Alcohol, hmm, I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. No, oh, I know. Ask him about the burial certificate. He should know something. Better not, I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Hmm. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why have to come to here every week? Why do I have to come here every week? Oh, oh dear, the new keeper, hmm. We've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. Trip trying to eat, he doesn't work. I'm sorry to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. It's current location name, important information, graveyard quality, especially skulls, church appeal, the crosses. Pair graves, quality, how many special resources to do that? Crave a wooden marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five skulls, please, uh, please promote you. you. Look like a spiritual leader, and you look like a spiritual leader, and I am a good judge of character. Ha <laughs> I'm good at everything, that's why I was chosen to represent his will. Ha <laughs> ha! Your prisoners used to keep stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come by here every wheel. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, wait. Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it, uh, why is it you come here? It's part of my duty, the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't much to, uh, I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his glory, might and glory. Ha <laughs> ha! I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as the body has been, as soon as the body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. I don't think he's gonna be any help. He's, he says he doesn't know anything. If you run out of repair kits so while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. Craft new items, you'll need to lock the relevant technology. Uh, press tab. Open the talent tree. Red points. Handcrafting skills. Your ability to grow materials. Green points. Knowledge about nature. Thank you. Nature itself. Uh, from the immaterial world. You get first at the study table in the church basement. You, know, uh, you earn points simply by doing anything. You can also get points by studying new items at a special table. Uh, stone a stockpile, stone rock. Timber stockpile. Stick. And so, we earn, like, points by doing stuff. It's like... It's just, like, a faster way to... I don't know if I'm missing, like, the button. Where... Where the rest of them go? Okay, well, these are immediately bad. So, um, get those points, here. and that's like our energy bar. So he comes here on every purple day. Right? He's he's gonna be here purple days. That's fine, you know. Everybody needs to see him. 
purple base is eighty five. Okay. The next thing to note is that these graves, so like okay. Each body will have like bad points and good points, right? So you can only get as many good points as you have white skulls. So for example these are more like good. What do we have? So when you're doing that stuff like the um We'll probably have to work with a couple of corpses every now and then. This one's this one's pretty good. This one's also pretty good. So we want to put like a cross and stuff on that one. So like each decoration for a um, corpse is worth X amount of points. I don't know. Each decoration is worth X amount of points. So like the uh, wooden cross is worth one. The stone cross is probably worth like two or three or something. I don't know. But um, you keep them repaired and all that stuff, and they um, hopefully that won't be closed. But, uh, you know, and you can only have as many of the points as you do white skulls. So, like, white skull is, like, potential, red skull is, like, a negative, you know? If that making any sense. You know? Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Horadric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today, and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. Uh, how can I not have recognized you? Good, this is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. Are you planning to opening a church? I had to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anyone took care of it. Let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Uh, spare certificate. Uh, the bishop told me that you would buy my bear certificates. Yes, he's right. As, a, uh, as the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short in money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will begin bring lots of shiny coins to the village. It's meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal stamp on it. So we need the royal stamp for our meat. Many years ago, there was an incident with, uh... Inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat has to be approved by royal authority. And I don't need uh, any, any trouble with uh, the town. Does your meat have a stamp? No. I don't know, uh, want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it looks really good. But without the stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can get, uh, send the form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. There's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. It's a guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every uh, female red day. I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Oh, Keeper, could you find, uh, take, kind of take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kresvold? Sure, where can I find them? The southeastern corner of the village. No, <laughs> the uh, thing is chasing me. <laughs> You must be the new gravekeeper. Ah, uh, so I've been told. But how do you know? How did you know? Oh, you live long as I uh, as long as I have. You'll probably learn how to read people too. But where are my manners? I'm Miss Chain, Roderick's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about. Oh, ho, ho. you better talk to my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he does like to talk. All I can do is sell you some recipes. Oh, I mean, kind of. So recipe for fish delicacies, things to, so I guess, um, best of my knowledge, you make, uh, like, food to eat. Let's go, uh, I'm not in a good mood, go away, no! They don't to talk to me. So I guess they, maybe if they had, like, little markers over the head, you want to talk to them, but otherwise, they probably don't want anything to do with you. Much like real life. No. Uh, let's see, if you see, uh, Little speech bubbles over people's heads. You're probably the uh, main character, so you keep doing you keep doing you, buddy. All right, what are you staring at? <laughs> Nothing, just looking around. I think uh, I'm the new uh, the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? 
Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Crisfold. I have a letter for you from Haraj. I have a letter for you from Haraj. A letter, of course. One minute away, and he can't be bothered to come himself. <laughs> I guess old habits die. Never die. Thank you. Sorry for my knacking. It seems it's a new, my new habit. Hmm. Slams again. Harajik asked me uh, to get rid of them. I don't have time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help me. Take this rusty sword and an energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right beside you. Maybe you can keep the you can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me their remains, and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up on the other side of my house, near the puddles. So I actually spent energy, crafting, gathering, fighting, blah blah blah. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Space. Uh, fill your food. Or fill your health with food and potions. Uh, sleep boost. Oh, that is. Oh, I thought it was the handle. Swollen soil. There's a huge swamp to the west, across the river. I just collected over there before the bridge collapsed. So this is the slimes are over here, apparently. Yeah. Beautiful. Feed the slimes. <laughs> good job. Take this whetstone. Just sharpen your broken tools, and they'll be as good as new. Green jelly, red jelly. I also want to go see if the bar is open real quick, because I think... Can you see this? No. Um, if I remember correctly, there's an item you want to buy from the tavern as soon as possible. It's like um a transport stone, so it saves you time walking back and forth. It's good to know you how you, uh, know how to use a sword. Griswold told me about how do you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Uh, so he has the teleport stone. And we don't have, uh, the silver. Anything else sell, we might be able to, but, uh, not right now. If we want that stone, because it, it allows me to teleport from here, I think, just, like, to the main points. Just a bit faster. And I think it's infinite use, if I remember correctly. I, I watched somebody play this a while ago, but, uh, have not seen anything to do with it since. Steal this guy's cabbage. It's my cabbage now, boy! Oh, there's the bishop. It's not female day. Um, I wonder, because we gotta go home. So, um, I don't remember what was on female day. But we do need to rest because it's, uh, well, daytime's approaching. Psst, come here. Where have you been? To the village. The place was so weird, but it feels so real. And everyone is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sod, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing? I remember there's a cellar in the cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. The mushrooms, berries, and so Wheat, exactly, remember. Baking bread from it. Ah, the pies! Mmm, the sweet berry pies! Toast, onion toast. Oh, that goes good with beer. Sarge, you know what? I need a beer. It's beginning to feel like one side of relationship. I'll bring, uh, you bring me a beer, and I'll st tell you a lot of important stuff, like how you can get home. Questions? Uh, yes, can you tell? Uh, it was rhetorical. Do I uh, look like a magic head with answers? Well, technically, yes. Sarge, you smartass! I'll be waiting for that beer in my place. No beer, no answers.
looks like a. One of those. So, okay, S and D, no, enter, tab, space, C, E, V, Q, W. No. Let's see, I can't even put this or do anything. Uh, we've got his beer. So, we're going to start here, to be honest. So, I don't want to sleep for the entire day because it just seems like a waste. so refreshed. Mm -hmm. This is not good. Not good at all. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are? I'm the graveyard keeper. Mm -hmm. Hooray, a kipper. Wow, I've been here for so hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. Mm -hmm. I'm so lonely. Mm -hmm. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. We do have a brother and pleasant fellow buried here. I'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That's only something you can help us with? Not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me to bury about bodies. You're York, and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, uh, the half dead skull of that jealous bastard. <laughs> he can only dream of having a uh, peaceful, peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible, especially that guy down the lower right corner of the corner grave he's so mean could you just get rid of him just dig him up and throw him in the river i can even give you this license that i stole back when i was alive what license you're such a dummy to dig up a corpse you need license the old keeper used to buy them through a uh, mailbox near the church now yeah. uh, let's make the most of our day and get back to the uh So we were supposed to meet somebody on female day. I believe um, some woman knows how to talk to Snake, whoever that is. So we collect the quests now, so we know what we're uh, in for, you know. These are footprints. Other than the fact that days pass, there doesn't really seem to be a t much of a time limit on a ooh, dead horse. But a fucking. What a blue doo 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 You wanna be my love by me? Shubaloo doo ba wa wa. Anybody can see. Hi. What do you want? I'm the graveyard keeper, and I want to ask you some questions. I see. You know how many times a day I hear about this that same mumbling? I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. Demonstrate what you are worth talking about. But, ciao! Hail, friend! Can I have a moment? What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally, to go away. Ah, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. But I'm not just anyone. I'm the local graveyard keeper. Soon to be a prior of the local church. How primitive! I'm a well-known poet. In certain circles, uh, sm certain small circles, my name is Wagner. One day, I'll read a poem to her, and then we'll... But first, I need to write it, and I'm catastrophically out of ink and paper. Maybe you can get me some? Uh, notice little things about people, put... may have some of it in your church, or maybe you can make it. I'm not uh, used to manual labor, but a skillful man such as you can surely do it easy. Also, you could uh, get some from the old astrologer. He likes uh, astro yeah, astrologer. He likes to go to the lighthouse every moon. He was my supplier before we had that ridiculous fight. He's an old, mad, uh, old and mad, whereas I've been studying for three, almost three years at the town university. Can you believe he turned out to be an idiot? He told me what the earth is uh, that the earth is round. What nonsense! Actually, it is round. Oh God! You should ha uh, definitely meet him, Mad Astrologer and the Graveyard Keeper, two wise men. Hmm, could make for a pretty funny poem. Astrologer must be the smartest man around. Maybe he'll get be able to get me back home. 
It's on a cliff. It's a little lighthouse. Uh, east of the village. It hasn't been uh, hasn't been seen active for a while. Bless the dead horse for staying open. One day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple lines about you. Okay. So we need ink and paper, and he'll like us more. They want me to exhume the bottom right corpse, which I think is a good one, sadly enough. But, um... Quest. You know, quests. Quest, quest, quests. Best quest, quest. I do also have, um... We don't have ten, but we do have the... Uh, so green stuff we can get. We can do pastry, very much place from apple tree. Uh, I don't really think we need that stuff yet. This seems important though. And this stuff we'll probably just buy. Okay. As we waddle slowly back to our abode. Well, there's not a corpse just sitting out here. Because that would be pretty shitty. No. Because I think you can hear the bell from wherever you are. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Let's just take up the, the guy in the bottom right. I guess for now, it doesn't really make much of a difference about the... Um, yeah, so look. So the red, the red skulls block out whatever um, green knobs you have on it. Like for this one, this one you'd have to repair both, and it would it would barely do it. But this one you can repair, just this one, and it should make it to a plus one. Bam. This one again, it's kind of like it. It's not terrible. It's just not great, you know. And that's the guy they want exhumed. Oh, he's fairly good. Uh, is there, is there a... Yeah. Gee, I don't really think we need to throw him away. what I really want to move, because, yeah, so that's not good for the body. Um, I guess we'll just throw in the river for now. No. The thing is, um, bodies also have a quality. So I think it's described in the game basically how good they were in life. So the red skulls are, I, I mean, if I remember correctly, I don't. I really don't know what I'm remembering. Goodbye. What do you think you're doing here? The ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? You know, you're just doing uh, everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you? Ha <laughs> ha, he's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I never do anything like that because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of body is to burn it. Do it really? It's the river. Somewhere down to the town, I think. How can I burn a body? You know what? You're the one of those guys who looks a lot actually smart, smarter than they, uh, who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. We need a fire with some wood. <laughs> whole trick is to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? Hmm, you need a nice, quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Cross the road from the mortuary, mortuary entrance near the cliff. Yeah. Uh, it's up here on the screen. Some servers require a certain level of happiness. Uh, yeah. So, instead of just dumping them in the river, we probably should be burning them. I think it still gives you the, uh, the stuff. I don't know. Yeah, we still don't have the, um, what we need is, I think we need to remove the blood, or the fat. These ones, I think, is all bad for it. This gives it more, like, more shit. But this one, this is a good, this one's a good set. Let's give him his beer. Where's my beer? 
Oh, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. Alright, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging you're here from another world. Today, you whisper that to a drunken drinking buddy in a tavern, and tomorrow, your face is on every bowl in town. So you want to keep yours, just stop. But he's right, I should be more careful. So what was your question? Easy, I'm sure you could use the portal on which hell. So I just need to go through it, or what? Do I need to turn on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here. So I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Wow, the church li uh, has a library in its cellar. Or maybe astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. Obviously, I need to go... Th I think... Uh, obviously through the church, and I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Yes, that's net net. I used to like fishing. I remember like fishing. I once caught a fish this sard. I once caught a fish this sard. I've got no hands to show you how big it was. But believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails. And once, you know what? I need to go. Sure, sure. It's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. Okay. Alright, I think we figured out everything we need to know about the astrologer from uh, the other guy. I don't know what's on Weird Lobster Day. Yeah, so this is like a blueprint desk. So I'll have to build immediately, so I'll just need an extra work. So, we don't really need a trunk right now. Probably gonna need a saw for this. We should probably uh, clear this shit out of here. I need more manual labor points for uh, obvious reasons. Uh, so tomorrow is Scorpion Day. What does it look like? It looks like um. It reminds me of something from some game, but I don't remember what. It looks like kind of just looks like a generic, you know. Thanks for statements. What's this? Okay. I don't think we can remove stuff after we uh, place it, so we do have to be a little bit careful. Um, I think there's a way to rotate it, but I don't remember really that. I just like just to check, right? I don't know what button it would be. So I can put wood billets in filch. I can also make a wooden grave marker out of nails in pitch. Pitch, filch, potch. Not if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. Looks like I can move this blockage and fortify the arch. So we need ten wood wedges, two planks, and four simple iron parts. of it. Or flour, I guess. It's been ground up, so it's no longer technically wheat. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up sleeping this entire day, too. We could eat. I use, like, one of those energy potions. Thing. 
can, however, learn. I think extracting the blood makes it better. Makes it burn the blood just in case. I think the uh, you can use skin to make paper. Really, disgustingly enough. Um, working wood repair kits. We need wood wedges. I think this game has been fully released, so this stuff should just be stuff I can't access yet. Wake up if there's a uh, the ding a ling a ding of the bell. Yeah, so refreshed. Good, it's much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though, so lonely. It feels bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh, fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red, and good deeds are best white. Uh, even if you get best of uh, those can't make a graveyard a peaceful place. Uh, that's peace. When it's full of red skulls, sins. I'm not sure what inside. I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. Ha <laughs> ha mm, You better take a look and care. Uh, good care of your graveyard. I'll be watching you. Can't do anything, so I'm so sad. Woo yeah. But all remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. Corpse gets red and white from its body parts. You can exchange change the corpses by removing organs and embalming. The way to increase your graveyard's uh, decoration is the more graves objects that have more decoration points. Each line that has both good deeds and decoration points counts as one happiness. Lines that have sin never count. But you need them to fill fill them with the decoration point to reach happy points. Good deed points, I don't know. The good boy points. He wants his tendies, and he can't get them if he's been a bad boy. Thus, you need all the good boy points to get your tendies. So, um, rotting also kind of gets rid of... Oh, fuck it. Son of a bitch. Rotting also gets rid of it. I th think... Expecting blood gets rid of the um, stuff, but this is a bad body, right? Yeah, so, like, see now he's got three white skulls. So we might as well test it out and see what it gets rid of what. He's got four white skulls. I say we just take it. For now, that's pretty good. And since I'm not going to be very picky in the very beginning of the game about how I get my good boy points, uh, where my tendies come from, or how hard they re, uh... <laughs> So he's got four, and I got a little more extra money. This guy is crap. You want to use him? This guy is kind of also garbage. If I could exhume him and like clean up his body, it would be really good. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a. Oh. oh. Oh, because you need I think you need to remove it before you can exhume the body. Yeah, so exhume the body, you need to remove the grapes feet. Yeah, there you go. That's why that he it was an option to do it rather than not having that. Man, this body is just so bad is a problem. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we can also, down here is where you can burn the bodies. Oh, we don't have the ability to, we don't have the, the knowledge and know-how to bur 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 burn those bodies. We can also fix the... Oh. Oh, because I think you have to repair both halves of it. But it specifies outside. So I think you can store those bodies on... As long as they're, like, on that stuff, it stays indefinitely, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of speaking half out of my ass.
mail day is coming up. store all this stuff that we don't exactly need on us right this second. Uh, oh, okay, I don't know what that is to be honest. Maybe you can write stories? I, I remember saying something about stories. What specifically, I'm not sure. Uh, we can also... So you take turf four weeds flour, two flour and three water into dough. Or we can turn jugs of milk, we don't have that stuff. We can slice the meat into raw sliced meat. We can cook it all here. So bread can be cooked. Five fire points and then two dough, five apples. You can also bake and eat the uh, the human flesh, which I guess is what you want to do with bad bodies. You just kind of take all their valuable goods out. All right, probably the fort, uh, forfeiture, for, forfeiture. The commercial use contacts Howard. Uh, so you can probably. But so like mushroom gives me plus five miles per hour. So you're probably gonna want to cook that no matter what, so that you don't have to like suffer the health. You can get water out of there. Surprise, surprise! You get water out of the watering the water well, you know, or just the regular well. I don't really think you have to specify water well, you know. Something about. It being a well kind of insinuates that it's already for water, but uh, far be it beyond me to assume anybody that really knows that. <laughs> uh, some people, you know, some people, they still know about water wells, as opposed to lava wells, uh, Minecraft life. It's not moon day, so we can't see the wizard. The wizard! Or this, or the art, the art, call, or, or, uh, our archaeologist? No, no, no. Our astro astrologer. He said his name really weirdly. Garden. I found an abandoned graveyard near, uh, garden near my graveyard. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, the garden. It was seized by a merchant to cover some debts. Can't find anybody who will make any use of it. Hmm, I can give you permission to use the garden. Who else would agree to grow crops near a graveyard? Sounds great. Good, but uh, you still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. Not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval, but it'll be fine if you promise to settle the deals with him later. Sure, I'll talk to him. Oh, he was here yesterday. He comes to trade in the locals every scorpion day. He owns the bar and just out of the tavern. I guess I'll buy food from him, but, uh... Not really too keen on that. Yeah, so this, right? How do I, um... Yeah, so it's got a, a cooldown timer, but it allows you to teleport back between those two locations. So we have mode markers, we can also make filch and that stuff. I think we should make some food just to kind of put some of our, um, 
our ingredients into like energy points basically. Uh, 14 of that will keep at least one meat. I kind of don't exactly enjoy the premise of eating people, but you know, energy is energy. Do I need to repair this or do I need to talk to Merchant first? show up mandatory immediately or whatever. That's one. I don't know how much um, planting it takes to get any kind of amount of seeds in. I don't know if it gives you your seed value back. I guess we're going to have to find out the hard way. So yeah, four of them required to do one seed planting, so we can only do one for now. Hopefully at least gives back four, you know. Otherwise, it wasn't exactly worth it. Oh, it's, I think it's pulling from the, the, the thing as well. So, because it showed 15. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pulling from the chest as well, so I don't need the... I'm not going to have food ingredients in my... Uh, right, I mean, food ingredients, TM. As long as I have the stuff in my uh, chest, it should be fine enough. So for now, that fits majority food. I know the uh, the body parts don't explicitly count as food. We're gonna rust them right now. So specifically. Uh, known NPCs. Get your home in love, talk to the astrologer, get him a bottle of wine, demonstrate you're worthy of talking to, reach level 5, have happiness in the graveyard, talk to the merchant on blank day, find a stamp, find 10 paper, and <laughs> one ink. So, for fire points, Firewood, sticks. Uh, for now, we'll use half of it, just in case. We can just hang out with it. I don't know what I can do with that. A lot of this stuff not yet, so. I'm trying to decide. Um. We don't need a furnace. We can't build yet, but we could build if we just got the stuff together. Uh, we don't really have much to do with the furnace right now, though. We don't have anything to cook, being the main issue with that concept. Um, still need five. Just need a couple. We can make if we craft another uh, fidgets or whatever. I'm sure we'll need more. Sure, we need some of both, so it's not exactly wasting materials. Just 
So to watch out in case we hear that uh, dingling of the bell. So you might get a particularly good corpse. So refreshed. So refreshing. Oh, this should be the food chest. Ripperoni. Inquisitor, I've just seen the Inquisitor right up going uh, right nearby, going on the path to Witch Hill. Oh, sorry, he'll kill me, or even worse. Calm down, I'll go distract him. His, his voice changes a bit uh, as well. Maybe I'll find something that hill to help me get uh, get home. Yeah, definitely want to talk about the Inquisitor about what's on Witch Hill. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to assist me. Everything is ready, Monsieur Gar. Good. Were there any problems? No, Monsieur Gar, except there was a strange fella snooping around. Oh, there he is. Halt! Guys, calm down. I live here at the graveyard. He calls us guys. Why is he a cultist? For, uh, why he's a cultist for certain, Monsignor? Graveyard keeper. Okay, uh, where is the keeper of the local graveyard? You can ask any of the villagers about me. Then you're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join me in the witch burning ceremony? I mean, I'm not, I'm not exactly a, a stranger to a good witch burning. My honor. So how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Well, I just happened. There's nothing really, uh, nothing special to say. You're definitely hiding something, and I'll find out what. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith in humankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded, and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is opening again. Oh, is opening again at a suspicious, auspicious, suspiciously, a suspiciously auspicious time. The dark cult is rising. I can feel it. Righteous anger rises within my soul. We burned thousands of witches and heretics for thirty years, and it's only the beginning. Burn heretics. By the fires, fucking Xenos be purged! Rah! The long live the great Inquisitor! Hurrah! Hurrah, hurrah! So, you work with dead bodies a lot. Uh, well, with a lot of dead bodies, huh? Yes, I think it's part of my job. And you live right beside this hill, near the graveyard. That right. Yep. Interesting, interesting. You know, I need someone to be a friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. I don't trust the villagers. They don't go to church, and they even refuse to lay their graves, lay in their graves after death. But you're new here. You might notice something unusual. Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll be your friend. Uh, pleasure to be your friend. Wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. Turn my trust and be a friend to the Inquisition. You will first have to show your goodwill. So I have a couple of minor tasks for you. What kind of tasks? Everything in due time. Today is the day of wrath, not a day of sweating the minor details. We can talk next mail or any other mail. I have to come here. There is no other place where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. So like it's it's uh, lining up based on the days. Okay, there's a circle. Oh, that's the moon, sun, male, uh, female, square. No, no, no. Every day probably has something really important to do, or like a quest to complete, a quest line to complete in each day. That will probably cause those to light up. That was a real good witch burning. You missed it, buddy. Run away, run away, before they realize I'm a witch! There's some kind of wizard. No, I, I don't think I'm the wizard. Somebody else is probably the wizard. Realistically. Um. Yeah. Get the fuck clean this goddamn graveyard. Stuff isn't affecting me now because I don't. It doesn't count as the graveyard. Uh. Positive one to fix everything. This will be a just a positive four, I guess. 
which I guess is kind of worth it. A positive one. I don't know. It, it's really hard to fucking, you know. It's just so difficult. Um. The, uh, so I was to start working once the church opens again. Okay, so we can't buy any of the exhumations or anything like that until after the church opens. Ripperoni, let's uh, dump the excess repair kit into there. Uh, as well as the stone one. However, nope. Yeah, we do have the uh, wooden grave and the cross. We can probably craft like one of each of those. Bring them over here. Put them around some of those. Ones that are a little bit lacking, and then, uh... Slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Getting the floor and jam. DCT and the microphone. Let me just do it at the, uh, thing. I think I one of those at the thing. So, it's just that. It's just that. Also, kind of learn that you can push stuff along. Yeah, I, I saw somebody play it like way early beta, and then uh, I haven't seen anything. It's probably, probably about a year since I last saw somebody play this game. But you all have fries cooked too. I have that stuff in the spawn or something. That'd be silly. Okay, so it's moon day. <laughs> just, I'm sorry. The fact that I just said it's moon day with 100% uh, sincerity in my fucking mind. <laughs> it's moon day. <laughs> That's people use with Tuesday. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just the, the moon day. It's, it's got me. It, it got me. I can I can't handle myself. So refreshed. Can't we make like a sandwich? Ooh. Ooh. So this one that gives me 20 energy and that cost me five. Uh, oh, I can just right click them. Okay. That's one at a time, but it's better than fucking... Okay, so we're gonna go put that graveyard marker on one of those, seeing as the donkey arrives today. Woo! So... I mean, I guess this guy, right? This guy here who's just a pure zero hole is probably gonna stay around a lot longer than anybody else because I'm probably going to want to exhume slash uh, fix up some of these other corpses just when I know what it does because um I still like a lot about this like so important parts does that is that good I mean unlock it only because They won't see you, but you still need to be careful. You have a reduced chance of making surgical errors. When, yeah, so that's also something. Every time you remove smart, you have a chance of fucking it up, basically. And, uh, well, that's fun and all. It's not exactly ideal. You know. So, uh. Yeah, you don't want to mess up. Fuck, you don't want to mess up, like, you know, operating on a corpse, pulling out all the intestine bits. 
we'll wait till we get the bad course and we'll, we'll pull stuff out and we'll see what does what and knowing my shitty memory it'll be perfect for remembering crap that I don't need to know so I would forget anything about this game it's not important stuff I guess are you the not important? I don't know it's really weird my memory is not great that's for sure also the boat of the dead that sounds weird So, um, so this shot in the portal. I think he said he was out to the west of town. Who? Fresh eggs. Oh, I can buy eggs. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably worth it at some point, but uh, not right now. Yeah, that guy. This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive. I know what truly matters. What? Heh. Do you think he can understand? No, Dick, he won't, because he can't see. Oh. Okay, then I'll tell him a sweet lie. The only thing that matters is peace and herbs and nice sweet things. Sweet like honey. Give me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. The cake is the best. He kind of reminds me of, um, the Dionysius, right? That's the, uh, the famous Greek philosopher who, uh, held up a chicken and said, this is a man. Nutbag. Alright. Mm. Hey, apples. It really wants me to to mess with that. Like, I should hurry up before the uh, donkey comes. This is a iron one, right? Holy mackerel, boy! You look like someone who desires to be part of the magic world of fishing. I don't know much about fishing. Lucky you! I know a whole lot about fishing. It's so relaxing and be profitable. Plus, fish are really tasty. Sounds great. I'm in. My choice, my boy. I'll bring you everything you need to teach you about how to fish. Hi. Are you the astrologer? Oh, I used to be. Now I'm more of a lost soul in this dead end world. I'm the new graveyard keeper, and it seems I need your help. Everyone needs something, except me. Knowledge only brings sadness, young man. You seem pretty happy, but trivial needs are meaningless to me. So there's no way you can help me? Let me see. You're looking after the graveyard. Yes. Psst. Quiet. Bring me a skull. It's pretty illegal. Who cares about the stupid Inquisitor's law? Yeah, sure. The talking one? Jerry? He's kind of my friend. I don't think it would be appropriate. No, I just need a simple skull from any or dead body. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure, man. Show me how to do it. You always, uh, just, if you just grill it, personally, I like to slice it and fry the slices in oil, then pop fish sticks in my mouth. Motherfucking fish sticks! And you know what else? When you eat fish, you start to think like a fish. All good fishermen always eat a lot of fish. Do you have one you can give me? Well, that I do, my boy. I just have an old one. I'm not just handing it over as a gift. I'll uh, ask you to bring me some moths. They're good, just, there's, they're good as bait. You can only catch them at night. And I can't hardly make out uh, at anything when it's dark. I want six moths for a fishing rod. That doesn't sound like a terrible deal. Granted, it's a fairly fucking weird one. No, I don't want to... I just want to pick up some fucking apples, dude. I'm hungry for apples. Uh, I guess we'll try to see if there's anything else. What the hell is that? Ugh. <sighs> We'll walk back so we can see if there's anything we're missing in town. Probably check out the, uh... Okay. Guess we also need to figure out how where we get, like, milk from. Somebody would sell milk. Probably, like, a rancher in town somewhere or something. Hmm. Doesn't really seem to be anybody important in the tavern today here. Oh, sir? 
30 friendship with Ruby Drake. There's a cat in there. The only animal that I've seen that isn't a fucking smart ass donkey. A potter? Mr. Potter's alive! Circles. There's lots of thunder gets the tier two. They don't know how to interact with potholes. Imagine just like you you dug pot out of the you know, like pot like the uh, pottery. You dug pots out of the ground. Pot would be you know okay yeah 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 I realize it, it's fucking stupid. Uh, Not bring us any body bodies. My body lies over the ocean. I went in. Very peculiar about what side it wants me to do this stuff from. So wheel day is nothing important, I don't think. There's thing about wheel day, but I don't remember what. I know we need to go to like on like the weird Y day, the scorpion. Okay, let's call it scorpion. Like green's ant, orange is scorpion. It's blue, br uh, blue, purple, red. I mean, I guess orange day rather than brown day. I'm pretty sure male's brown. Males brown, brown dark. I don't know if I can catch moths with my hands? I would assume not, but like... Well, there's a skill for it, right? Uh... Yep. Bottle of wine, skull from the dead body... Him on a mail day, don't show you worth talking to... Five graveyard... Oh, that's right. Um... Chris comes on... On a real day. That's what wheel day was important for. Priest, priest comes back. So refreshed. Um. I think two because I think there's two graves that don't have a marker. So I'm gonna fucking think what we think doing with that. Not too much with that. Actually, might not be like just the one grave of the month marker, which I guess isn't the biggest issue. Just want to try to like bring up the quality, I guess. Without, I guess, bring it up by two. We need five total, that was the problem. I wonder if I imagine removing it kind of destroys the item. Nothing I can really do right about now for the grave. Uh, okay, all the graves wouldn't make even. Uh, it wouldn't take even an hour. That's your job. Yeah. yeah. We have to gather moss. We have 15 green points to do that. 
so we can't do that stuff because it requires blue points. Blue points require technology. Uh, trunk, garden bed with sticks. Ten points, right? Exactly ten points. Um, yeah, it's probably another week before we can get that five thing done. Sadly enough, but so we have nowhere to make the um. Carpenter's workbench, carpenter's workbench too. What the fuck's a carpenter's workbench? area. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. Is that technology I have to get, maybe? There we go, 20 and 10. Turn that stuff in the firewood if you want, but it's probably it's definitely not worth it. Should give me some red points though, right? Like one. No, that's what we need. We don't need to collect any of the food, so I'm not going to bother. Um, Uh, I wonder if it's worth destroying the object and just putting down the new one. seeds. Ugh. Okay, buying them, I guess. So this body is not very good, right? Put stuff in them. Oh, so I guess maybe you can take some of this stuff out and like embalm it and stuff. Um, okay, so I guess let's learn what stuff does, right? We need a skull. This body's like pretty shitty. Skull adds a, adds a sin. Heart. Removes the skin the sin in a good skull. Testings. Didn't do it. We can't put them back in though. Brain. Okay, replace the one with that now. Oh, we didn't get the brain out. Get his bones out.
skin. I messed up the skin. Um, take the meat. We'll just sleep this one off. We'll come back for it. We don't, uh, we don't have another body waiting for us, and, uh, well, I don't think we can't have another body waiting for us until after we get the, uh, that stuff sorted out. We do have a skull now, though, so we can go next blue day. We can go over there. We have a couple extra body parts just to fiddle around with. Put all the food into the food chest. We'll, uh, keep the body parts and the food kind of separate. I know I, who doesn't like storing their brains where they store their cabbage, but, you know... Something about that doesn't quite sit right with me, you know? Uh, just the one, because we need the four plants. It also seems like, yeah, we're going to have to probably keep buying seeds from somebody. Let's find some kind of seed merchant. I wonder if we'll be able to plant it without any energy. I don't think it requires any kind of work. It's just kind of putting it in the ground. Yeah. Now, female day. I don't think anything important. I think the uh, the the French singer is back in the inn. The uh, chub darlings. Uh -huh. Aha! Uh, but I don't think there's anything important in town today. We need to go tomorrow to go talk to the marchand. We're probably just gonna toss this body in the river. I imagine you're not supposed to toss too many of them in there because there's probably some kind of issue with that. You know. Turns out people don't like. Body is just being chucked into the river. Also, yeah, so it doesn't decay while it's on here. The surgery mistakes aren't ideal. But, you know, we're learning. So, it seems you can take stuff and put stuff back in. I don't know to what end, specifically. But, uh, yeah. Goodbye, buddy. Uh, to what end, I don't know exactly, but... I'm sure we'll figure it out. Because yeah, we can't um, try to get the cremation technology fairly early on. Just so we're not... Uh, yeah, we can't actually do it. At least, at least until after we open up the... Uh, no. At least until we open up the uh, thing. The uh, church, that's what I mean to say. Or we should get the connection through the bottom there. But, uh, I imagine it would be a little bit easier to open up a church than it will be to, uh, repair the, uh, the catacombs of my house. that can hold. I think it's stone. What's this? Stone garden. River sand and pieces of stone. Well, I don't know how to get river sand, so that's immediately out of the question. Some bees. But, you know, minus the minus the fucking laceration, bee-based lacerations. I'm uh, pretty good, you know. Uh, fuck, I only spent that much energy to fucking get halfway there. Who knows if it holds up? In order to go north, we need to get ten wedges. Yeah, it's just a lot of wedges. You know, potato wedges. They're really big in medieval times. Is that not? Oh, 
thought it was time. But of them. I mean, it's not. It's not the fastest way to do stuff, but it definitely is better than making two trips, you know? It's not perfect, but, you know, when has anything ever been perfect? Corpses. I don't think there's any kind of rhyme or reason specifically. Rather, I'm not seeing it. Also, uh, if the frame's still dropping, I'm sorry. I don't uh, don't exactly know what I can do about that. I've kind of closed everything that I can. So. Can I steal this guy's cabbage? No. Why can't I be a cabbage thief? Known and feared throughout the lands for my cabbage thievery. Hey, guy. Ding dong, bing a bang bong, dig I am, am I? Oh, he wants five money. Rip. We can learn how to be. Or, in theory, not to be. Hundred and ten, jeez Louise. I guess uh, brewing is very difficult. I guess brewing's probably very good. Uh, we have nineteen points. Does that leave me with enough to do what I want? I don't even know. What do I want? I want cremation. We can't do that. I want uh, I want more smithing stuff. To be honest. Well, I mean. Guess he's wanting that. I'd rather have this for the uh, stone repair kit. So I'm gonna pair those uh, graves, as well as having uh, the thing over here. So I can actually, you know what? That's probably what I want next. The 2010. So to that end, I'm sure we can do that. How do I create honey? That's the question. Like just, just make honey. Just poof, honey. You know, it doesn't really explain. Create honey. Created from what? Look, there goes the, the French lady I was talking about. She's leaving town. Female day is over. It is no longer International Women's Day. And she is no longer a queen. She's just a thought. Uh, so she she runs. She flees the sanctuary of the inn. Well, I guess she wouldn't flee the, the sanctuary turned hostile uh, area. By the, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> It's not making any sense. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. Okay, so stuff in there. Meat goes inside. Just need a stamp for our meat, a meat stamp if you would. Does food go in the meat chest? Or does, does flesh go in the meat, the food chest? Or the safety chest? Really, it's kind of hard to tell. We need a jug of milk. I don't know where you get milk from still. Fish filet. The game is bugged out. Sounds, uh, sounds bad, man. What happened? Chicken egg, get fried egg. Oh, it's going to copper, though. Oh. 
So if you craft it with a bronze one, you have a 10% chance of doing the brown, uh, getting a brown star. New influencing perk stash box available. Okay. So guys, you get perks and buffs, which make you make better quality foods. It's about, about as much as I can glean from that. So I can spend half the energy. It's efficiency. That's what it is. There we go. So some iron over here we can mine up. A triple iron, actually. And then a... No, I can move that thing. Okay. So I guess to that end we possibly want to get the... Uh, the iron crafting set stuff, which I don't remember if I used my um, things or not. No, it's got five. So I can make a furnace if I get a lot more stone, a bit more fitch. Stone's not gonna be difficult. Fit, or stone's be more difficult than fitches, to be honest. But if I'm saying that correctly, filch, foch. I know it's not Fosh. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, seven. I don't know how much I have. I want to run into town real quick so I can go talk to the merchant. Um, I'm not going to teleport over there. I teleport back, maybe. I, don't, I want to save the teleport, basically, for if the donkey comes while I'm away and I didn't see him. Cause like you see him passing down the trail here, you know, but if I somehow manage to miss him, I obviously don't want the body to well, Here comes the fucker we're all worried about. Ugh, but it's KY over there. Um, you son of a bitch. Should have went as soon as the day peaked. It's actually not too bad. We have a sandwich on us, right? Yeah. Because we need to uh, be able to bury the body if it's a good one. Yeah, get fast. Don't fucking take the body with you, you ass. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not very good, but it will make a decent addition to my collection. I mean, four skulls is better than not having four skulls, you know? This is when we're trying to bump up the uh, level of our graveyard. And we can't exactly... Quickly, quickly, quickly! Muse, take me to the dead horse. Outside, there should be some around here. Hopefully, he isn't left for the day. Merchant? Yeah, he's probably gone. <sighs> yeah, I should have done the game earlier. Hey, buddy. Uh, nope, that's not what I... I'm so worried. 
You're at the dead horse. Oh, it looks medieval. Maybe they traveled through time, and yet... And what year is it now? A year? What do you mean? Time it takes for an Earth to make one revolution around the sun. Oh, you've been listening to astrologers nonsense. Everybody knows the Earth is flat. But I get you. It's 200 after the ancient contract. In 210, maybe? Never mind. And what uh, is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom. And in, uh, definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? Yeah, I wanted to trade. I didn't, didn't want that. If I have two teleport stones, well, do they have different timers? I feel like the answer is going to be new, to be honest. They'll probably be on the same timer. I actually don't even know where the merchant is. Uh, yeah, but where? I need him on Scorpion Day. Yeah, well, we missed it. Another another revolution of the of the weeks, and we shall see try to see him again. Yes. Yeah, actually you know, the revolution of the week cycle. Mm, flat Earth. And whatnot. Mm, yes. Quite. So your pair of shovel. Do that before we sleep. I wonder if like it does seem like zigzag and kinda of slows you down a little bit. I can't tell if It's just my perception of it, or if that's any true, any truth to that. Who knows? Who, who fucking knows? Shovel. Brain, come on. Come on. You didn't have to meet anybody today, I don't think. We need to go talk to the Inquisitor tomorrow, but as far as where Ant Day is currently, not busy. Mm, I think I'm totally fine with it for now. I don't really want to repair them when it's not necessary because the whittling stone meets the wheat stone. The whetstone? It's a whetstone. I don't know if it's a wheat stone. Whetstone has its own durability, and uh, that can be broken. It can be broken. Oh, no wood working. It's twenty. That's fine. Uh, if I make some filch, flitch. It's flitch, not filch. Uh, can make a furnace. It can be crafted. Uh, it's just also when the garden expands, where it's going to expand, you know. some of these lovely little fireflies. Throw those buddies in a bottle. Mm. Make a nice little accent for any home. Ooh, those are, uh, they're not. I thought they were, uh, solid bricks. Decent way to earn, uh, some experience point. Esperion point. Don't know why I'm saying it like that. Doesn't does it really add anything to it. I might argue that statement. To me, no, I'm just a simple experience point farmer. But my experience point farm here in the wild, wild west. Wait, this is medieval time, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Ow my foot! I just kicked a shelf. It does not feel good. Word to the wise. Do not kick shelves. They are not made for cook kicking. Not, nor cooking. Don't, don't cook with them either. They're terrible cooks. 
Can I uh, plant this up? No. Okay, so we need some more honey. Happily trade me self my me health for a bit of honey. Thank you, bees. Thank you, bees. How good is this corpse you're bringing me, Donkey? Donkey! How good is the corpse you're bringing me? Don't be bringing me any sinful bastards. I want only the holiest motherfuckers up in my... My... My body holes. Still kind of... Pretty fucking sinful, my dude. Um, messed it up. Intestines. He won't bring me more corpses while I have a, a body on the, the hill or in the set. I want to see the effect of adding and removing a body as well. So, go ahead and throw it in there. We now have three honey. Yeah, we need two more. Just need to go talk to the uh, guy tomorrow. Let's take some of these, yeah. Oh, okay, so red jelly gives 36 energy for an additional five. I mean, I guess it's not just additional, but that requires honey as well. I don't have enough apples. I am hungry for apples. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to the Inquisitor today. He will be on the hill being angry that's my mood as the kids are saying that is totally mood dog probably don't say dog anymore actually 15 and 5 and get that also ah So when you, when you get it like this, you have to get, get it in like a, a chunk rather than a, uh, a chunk rather than a bunch of little ones like I've been getting like this. Uh, we'll take that. We'll also make ourselves a carpenter's workbench, which I would need another simple iron part. We can probably go buy one from the uh, store. Uh... Okay. You, my good friend. I want to take out. Let's take out your bones, right? Right. And if I put your bones, just, just put a bone back in there. No, really. No, it doesn't really answer my question, to be honest. I want to know if it changed anything. I don't know. I probably should look it up, to be honest, if it's... Probably pretty easy to remove when you pull them out and put them back in like that, you know? <laughs> Flimsy bones, yes? I don't know, man. Taking the guy's bones out, putting them back in, then pulling them back out. He's just, just, just the right amount of morbid. Honestly, probably too morbid, but you know, 
feels good, man. I'm gonna drop these items off because I don't think I want to go to the uh, Inquisitor with a bunch of skulls and parts and other body parts inside of my inventory. It just doesn't feel like it's a good idea. You know? Fair enough. Bring a bunch of dead body parts into uh, an Inquisitor's house. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel like it's the uh, the pro gamer move that I'm looking for. You know, showing up to the guy who's in charge of burning witches with a bunch of witch-based ingredients. Like, you know, what witch wouldn't be dying to get her hands on a freshly harvested intestine or skin? Or a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fleshy flesh to make his hamburgers out of. Definitely not making flesh sandwiches. No, no, no. That would be illegal, good sire. I am not doing the illegals. That sounds a lot weirder than it should, because like you know, doing the illegals sounds like you're, you're, uh, smuggling in illegal aliens, right? All right, at least fucking them. I don't know. Just fucking them. Don't know why I did a really shitty Peter Griffin impression there. I'm not sure. Inquisitor man. Keeper, I enjoy the air here. There's something righteous in it. It is good to know that we'll soon be burning another witch here. We're still torturing her. <laughs> but forgiveness is worth it. This time the burning should go perfect. We need to prove that no witch can escape our righteousness. We need to make some preparations here. You can aid the Holy Inquisition. We need some firewood for a nice warm fire. And as many advertising flyers as you can get. I can't get any flyers, but... I'll wait for you. The witch isn't going anywhere. As soon as we have everything ready, we'll burn her. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> it's just a picture. <laughs> just the paper and like a little woman drawing it. You know? Just a little lady drawing a piece of paper. <laughs> witch! I guess they can't read, right? Because it's like, well, I mean... I don't know, it seems like a lot of people in the town are fairly educated. Which makes them witches. Burn them. Burn them all. Well, that's good to know, it does actually keep progress. To get the, um... So we need steel work, stone working. Prepare those kits. We need to... We can make our own. It's a pain for it to get one point. I bet you we're not going to have the investment cost for the uh, wooden anvil. Like it's going to require that stone part that I, I don't have. Uh, wooden anvil. Yeah, there we go. Simple iron part. I don't I don't think stuff despawns, but I don't want to find out. Throw this stuff in there. That stuff in there. Let's do rotten garbage piles. I think we need to get the um it's called composting or decay. Here we go. So we make a compost pile and make a peat out of that stuff. Fertilizer. Just just some just some random fucking muckins. Fucking muckin. run, not walk, down to our nearest blacksmith, so we can buy one part off him, and then probably never talk to him again. Yes, that's right. I don't want to be reliant on that blacksmithing asshole. He just has this corner of the market in blacksmithing. I should have brought a skull with me. I'm going to go back and get it. This is this, I feel like this is what this game's going to be. It's just um, me forgetting to do simple things, like bring a skull with me when I'm on my way to talk to the... Well, I guess 
if I knew my goal was to go talk to him, then I would have done that. I would have brought the skull with me. But um, considering my main my main points of contest here was uh, I don't know if that's the right wording for that. Main point of contention. That's better. Um, this is this random footprints over there. Uh, was going to talk to the blacksmith, not going to talk to the archaeologist. Arch astrologist. I don't know why I keep saying archaeology. It's not, uh, not what I'm looking for. It's not what I'm looking for, coach. Just all these. Like a, a drunken super towards town. The wonder, who was the drunk walker? I don't know. Heck, I think everyone will know. No one lives out by the graveyard except for me. So... You know, unless the bishop was making his rounds for some reason on a random Wednesday. I guess Moon's Day. Moon, moon Day. Moon Day! <laughs> Sorry. I guess Moon Day. It's it, that, it tickles me. What's this? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, so the town is closed. Oh, oh, oh. You need a town pass. Hmm. Okay. We can go to the town. Very creative names, you know. The town. A frog. <sighs> it's funny because I, I know this company's done some other stuff. So they did like um that fighting game. It was like um it's like one of those games you saw on Newgrounds. It's like a training game, right? So, like, you train the fighter, and he did matches, and he won, and he got points, and all that stuff. And that was, that. I mean, they did that, and they did some other stuff, too. I think. I don't... I don't exactly follow them too heavily. They don't... The game's kind of like this before. Which would draw, like, a management thing, rather than, um... Anything else, really. Hey, buddy! I got that wink wink thing you got, wanted... Not terribly clean, but every bone is in its place. Seems you have a talent for anatomy. The human body is so mysterious, perhaps even more so than the sun and the stars. I believe one day you'll learn much about the human body and the soul, and then you'll find yourself absolutely lost. Now as we are partners in crime, what is it you want from me, my curious friend? I need your help. My friend told me about the might know how to activate the portal on which hill. Never heard of it. Maybe not exactly never. But at least not for many years in another life, I had a friend. By the way, he was a gravekeeper, like you. And he was mad about this portal. Amazing how much he knew about this portal. What happened to him? He disappeared. Hasn't been seen or heard from since. I tried to find him, but nobody knew him. I even started thinking he was just a figment of my imagination. It was a hard time for me. His name Jerry? Actually, I don't know his name. He always used to call him by his nickname, Keeper. Portal. I think he found a way to activate it. It was something magical, so I don't remember. But it would be in his diary. Just before his disappearance, he gave me this key. It was a metal gate in the northern part of the church cellar. Somewhere in there is what he kept the most important notes. Why did you take these notes? Oh, I tried, but there's a secret to this key. I tried for months to figure out how it works. Maybe it's just my mind, but no and the key keeps opens nothing. Anyway, you can take it. Try to learn the, how the key works at the study table in the church cellar. When you find you have his diary, bring it to me and I'll try to find out information about the portal. I need your help. I need the paper. Hmm, I actually have some. Act, I have some, actually. I have a lot of useful things. Some of it may be useful for a beginner scientist such as yourself. I can't stand those chumps at the university. I'd rather earn a little extra coin elsewhere. Jeez, it's one silver per thing. And then ink is... Oh, boy. Pen and ink. Is this about, like... Why... How did they get the tier... How do, how do they... How do they change their tiers? Crafted at random text generator. Oh. Oh! Oh! 25 red points to Gryffindor! Uh, can be deposed on the study table to get 15 of that symbol. Not, not entirely sure. The books are cool, so we can definitely, like, just, you know, instead of having to 
randomly chip away at different things. Like this, you know, to get our red points, which we do need a fair number of. Especially for, like, that was that, that one, the brewing technology, which takes a hundred of each, you know. Or a hundred, uh, hundred green, then, like, ten science, or ten blue. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the uh the <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um the bishop is coming back tomorrow. This guy is sells seeds somewhere, right? This one We have the trade. Honey. I right, buy the honey. I also buy bees. Bees Buy myself some bees. How? Ooh. Hi, I'm Corey. I'm the gravekeeper. Nice to meet you. If you need some stone materials, I'll be happy to help you. For wood materials, you can visit my brother Tress. Oh. So his name is Corey, like quarry, and then Tress, like trees, or like Tress. Um, like a wooden, like a tress for like a, like a, like a tress support beam, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm stretching here. Did I dump off the honey? No, I didn't. Good, good Brandon. Good job. My laziness slash, uh, this was kind of planning. I, I thought about it a little bit. Ooh, who are you? You sell milk? Good day, sir. We sell the finest dairy products in the village. Do you have any fresh beef? Oh, do you have any fresh beef? Oh, no, sir. The cows are our friends. We're not like those folk from the town. I bet they even eat human flesh. They think they're smarter than us, but I think they're just barbarians. So she sells cheese, bucket of milk, jug of milk. What's the difference between these two? Do I need buckets of milk to make cheese? Or butter? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you couldn't figure out, I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's weird that they kind of leave out, like, if they fart whenever they enter the house, like, poof, they're gone. Poof. Ding dong, bang, bang, bong, big I am, am I? That's completed. Sweet, dude. What about the cake recipe? Just remember, a cake can never be too sweet. Sweetness can help you see things from other points of view, so you can learn more. Seed oil, seed oil, hemp, bro, hemp seeds. No clue what that's about. Other than he's a, he's all about them seeds. He's about hemp, you know. There wasn't a secret belling while I was gone, right? Yep. Okay, good. We're good. No secret. The bell doesn't secretly toll for me. It tolls for you, though. Ding dong. So we want that, but we would rather. I want to make the anvil first because it's smarter. It's smart. To make myself a 
Uh, Carpenter's Workbench, you need two of them, and then a couple fillets. They're fish. Flitch? Flitch. I don't know. Fillets. Fillets of woods. We can make, okay. We need to make like three or four like bases for the graves, and then we should be, that might push it over. We gotta find out, I guess. Hope we can get this done today. Oh, look at that, we need the. Firewood's not a big issue. Okay. Let's go while I go gussy up the, uh, the old graveyard. So that's fine. We add to this. So we can get at least we can get two more. That's not going to put us up and over, but if we can make a couple of their pair kits, right, if I can bury this guy. Son of a bitch. Well, for now, it's best we can do. Yeah, he's gonna be gone before we can do anything about it either way. So we would need what? One, two, three of the circles. I think we could actually use a second, a wooden, like, second tier one. But he's gonna be gone, so. So, we might as well just, um, pop in the bed seat for the night. So, we're not gonna be able to get it done this week. We have to do it next week. Ugh, it's fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. Uh, kind of limiting ourselves by not uh, 
not having the church open. It's not a big deal if I make another one now. Like, the graveyard won't be as fancy schmancy with it, but you know. Still got a decent chunk of time way to go before the graveyard's gonna be perfect, and I don't really think we're aiming for a perfect score with the graveyard, at least not yet. There might be a quest which requires it later. But, uh, as I said, later. stone out of breaking down of that iron ore, six pieces of stone, repair kit, you play for, and then a gravestone which adds to the grave. We'll make one, just to see if we can uh, make a grave better. Also technology, what are we looking at here? Science for those to progress in there, we need science to progress in there. Tools, 100% yes. Ten, ten. I mean, we're actually out of points now, but you probably could have looked a bit easier. Uh, better tool is something I definitely want. Wait, oh, because we don't have enough. No, I'm... no, because that I guess appeared in update. It's, it's so weird. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know why, it's gonna be Mario. Suddenly Mario. Okay, so it's better to make the stone one probably, it probably lasts longer. Don't know, can't guarantee that. But it also, it's overall cheaper. Also, we're gonna fucking enter that guy when we get the chance. side. Tomorrow's the day we have to go to the merchant, so we need to be a bit careful with that because we will forget again. We have a bunch of iron and stuff. Where can we make those tools? So I need to make uh, well, total. I need three, five, seven. Yeah, it's math. but I'm sure we'll probably need them at some point, so.
I hope we're not. No, okay, good. We are making better versions of them. These are they are, like, yeah, they're more efficient. Probably sell these at the store or something. as well. It's only, if, it, oh, if it only gives me three CG time, then it's not 100% worth my effort right this second to pull out of the ground. I'm not in a dire need for cabbage. Cabbage! And cabbage based accessories. So he was gone. Good night. <laughs> Greetings, villager. <laughs> you have any spare silver I can offer you? It isn't things tasty and rare. <laughs> uh, I'm going to apologize, but I'm not buying any of your sh stuff. This is something invaluable. I doubt you can find some here, thing here like that. Actually, I'm new here. Everyone thinks I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. I'm from another world, and I need to go back. I understand you all too well. This world is not mine, either. Oh, thank God. Mine is a world of grandeur. The places of the town. But I'm so lucky to be, to be a highborn. I'm not so lucky to be a highborn, so I have to earn my coins here. It's onion potato hell. Who? Are you mad? What are you doing? I was only trying to help you cure your hiccups. Well, that was a foolish thing to do. I just need a little time. That shark fin steak I ate this morning was so delicious, but I have to admit the golden fried butterfly wings stole the show. Seems like you're okay now. Not to my little surprise attack. Yes, it seems so. Talking about the garden. Roger gave me permission to use the garden near the church. I need to discuss the terms with the use with you. Oh, I totally forgot about that dead weight. It cost me so little. But of course, that was so many years ago, and due to inflation and the good soil, I don't know why now it's a valuable commodity. Yeah, sure it is, asshole. Let me see, how about ten gold pieces? Buddy, that's too much. Oh, okay, what about five? Dude, come on. I see you're a poor man who wants to earn a little money by growing crops. We can discuss the terms of your rents, but for first, let's see how good of a farmer you are. Good deal. You can deliver a batch of carrots, cabbages, and beets. Then I'll see you as a serious business partner and we'll make a long term deal that's profitable for both of our What do you say? Sure, man. So you have the first harvest I'll bring to you 12 carrots, 12 cabbages, 12 beets. One more thing. I have to ask, uh, half the time, I'd like to ask you for a small favor. How can I help you? My friend, I like delicious food, but lately I've been having stomach problems. If you get dinner, I get the hiccups. It's driving me mad. A friend of mine told me that wine club, from the wine club, that hiccup grass can help. There's plenty of it in the swamp. I'd be very grateful if you could bring me some. Sure, I'll look around for some. Okay. Do you sell all the seeds? Nope. Well, yes, but no. Jeez Louise. Royal fish. I sell only the finest royal fish. The royal fishery. Fuck that guy. Uh, you don't have CZ there. wonder why wood's grayed out for them. Like, they sell wood, but they don't want to sell it to me or something? I don't, I don't know. That's B-Boy. And B-Boy is not going to help me. My Maraca seed look ev searching adventure. I don't know where I find seeds. I don't know why I'm, I'm not pulling down there. It's weird. There's Blacksmith. Maybe it's this guy? There's a mole there. This is a big 
there. It's an animated over there. Little animated mole. I think this is the house, right? Because it's like there's vegetables growing out here. But there's nobody here to trade with? Can I nope. I don't know what Bessie's from. Is that a house there? Maybe that's where I buy it from. I don't know, I figured it would be in the town. Greetings, the meal is broken, sorry. If you need something meal, you'd better go to the town. It's too bad, but I have nothing to meal. I live in the graveyard. Keeper, nice to meet you. I have some old reserves you may find useful. So I could buy wheat off of them. Again, not exactly what we want. Obviously, the miller lives in the fucking mill for I just, I don't know where the guy is, right? Because I would assume that this is the vegetable house, but there's nobody here. There's beekeeper boy. There's milk woman. Milk woman? And then there's Cory, and I'm sure Tronch is back around here somewhere. Whatever his name was. Tr uh, trust. Trust. But, uh, nobody here is striking me as a farmer, you know, this house, again, there's nobody here though, or this guy, welcome fellow, oh, he sells peat, this is probably Tress, hi, I'm Tress, uh, the grave creator, nice to meet you, if you need some wooden materials, I'll be happy to help you. For some materials, you can visit my brother, Corey. They're definitely brothers. Okay. I feel like that's a slight, you know, insult, but, you know. There's just nobody here who's selling seeds. I don't know. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. See what we see down here. What are you selling? I'm not buying. Even his drugs and magical is. I was looking around. I don't know what's happening, but everyone here is tell everyone is telling me that I'm the graveyard keeper. Oh, then you're even worse than those shifting traveling merchants. I must say your whole profession is a fraud, and I don't like you. Now that I've made my position clear, we can do business. Ah, so he's especially the nobody but farmer. You know how to fertilize soil, and that's already hard work. Honestly, you don't look like much a farmer. You're better off buying from a professional like me, even if someone could cook something nice with my vegetables. At Zombie Farm. I need to finish my chores, or father will be very angry. So... Zombie farm? <laughs> what the fuck that's supposed to be? Like, you know... What is a zombie farm? Also, I'm assuming that, uh... Go 
Garden bread with sticks is probably better than regular garlic bread. Gar garlic bread. Garlic bread. I mean, it's probably right, you know? Garlic bread with sticks is probably better than regular garlic bread. So I don't remember how much I needed because I did not look at that number. I just kind of identified that I would be needing it. It might also just be that um, garlic bread with sticks here is going to be like a... So I can't walk through it. It's like it's for specific types of uh, bread garlic. I don't know why I didn't buy it based off just assuming it was going to be like an eight thing system. Also, I should have sold my tools while I was in town. I don't need the rusty ones anymore if I have the, the uh, better quality ones. That's something I kind of forgot to do. So like hearts don't don't uh, stack. Something I kind of clocked. Uh, got three random stories. Need to get into the basement. So I imagine doing this basement stuff is going to be pretty good. So two wooden planks, four of those, and ten wedges. We can do that. And it's green day, so green day is free day. this because no matter how you stick it it definitely doesn't go in there and we need four ah. so you need one billet a billet and in order to get two wooden planks we need two of those Things, the fillets, filets, five fillet. Filch. I don't know why I think it's fillet. He's be gone tonight, but he'll be back tomorrow. Nope, he's still here. <laughs> I uh, I may not be able to read. I think that's my problem. Also, if he spends his entire like life down there, right? How does he know when daytime's over? There? Also, I'm not quite sure how useful like infinite crafting would be if you don't have like somebody else to do it for you. Oh, he's gone. Son of a bitch, I'm in. Please be good. That's pretty good. As long as I don't botch up the fucking the work. Son of a I think I jinxed it. I, I think I I think I really jinxed it, you know? 
But three is enough for me to get a um, oh please. Three is enough for me to get a perfect score. Uh, I can I can I have three points I can you know dedicate to the. If I do that, that would be more than enough to uh, push us over if I didn't just finish getting rid of that. Oh, look, you get the cross back. It's broken, but... Um... Okay, so that's, that's why they give you the option of breaking that shit down. Because uh, it'd be useless otherwise. Look at that. Bam. Done with that. That's exactly a five. I mean, we want to inter some of those graves, obviously. Um, it's just some of those people are absolute garbage and they don't deserve to be in there. Two of those, two of those. We can actually do that really easily. Obviously, you want to put, pair as much of this stuff as possible. Just allows to build stuff down here, I think. Creation cluster, that's what. Any pall pallets for holding bodies, preparation places for like doing that. I don't know if pallets prevent decay. I think when you leave them on the uh, other thing, it does. It prevents decay, but I don't exactly know. It's kind of taking a shot in the dark. Uh, we can prepare the wood and go talk to the, uh, the boy. Give him, like, ten firewood. Maybe you want ten of each. You want twenty firewood. And ten flyers. Okay, I just remember he wanted ten of one. Ah, uh, yes, we didn't finish this. Hello, hello, hello. Hold still. Who are you? I'm the gravekeeper and prior of this church. I'm not really prior of the church yet. Mind your business. I have a dagger and I'll clap to use it. Yeah, okay, okay, man. See you, B. So, we either use, I guess, faith, faith points. We can show him the way of Jesus. Or, uh, or, uh, I don't know what the thing was, I don't, I definitely didn't have it, I think it's from the, uh, the woman. I feel like I made those two things for something, I don't remember what. I wonder if you build something and then break it down, do you get any of the parts back, or is it all just forfeit? Also, I should probably rest before the donkey fucking rolls around again. Ah, Inquisitor! Push me. I'm sailing away. Hmm. Traveling in style. Just undo that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, got me off. I looked away for a second because it, it's a—it's uh, a very efficient way of traveling. I don't even have to look at the screen. 
I can do literally anything else. Like, look at the floor. Don't know that was my. Uh, oh, don't know why that was my go-to. English. Here's the firewood. Glad you, uh, I'm glad to see you're with us in this righteous battle. I don't know how to make flyers, but yeah. Man, but, uh, when I, as soon as I do, you're the first guy I'm talking to. <laughs> and since I don't really know what I need my points for right this second, I might as well reserve them. There's nothing saying I need to spend them as soon as I get them, you know? Stone Garden's supposed to be for, to be honest. <laughs> Not enough health. <laughs> Not enough energy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a um wasn't expecting delivery today. FedEx said it arrive tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna get better corpses until after the uh Um, it seems that they're all been the same quality, and I don't know if that's like, you know, a bug, a feature, uh... Obviously, it's probably not a bug, but, you know, it's probably like, we're still in the tutorial-esque phase, because there's part of the parts of the game we're missing. So... Some missing, so maybe that's why we're not getting better bodies. They've all been one red skull, two white skulls, you know. So it feels like that's probably the answer. I feel like right? let's consider if I can get more. I 
that stinks. I do like how the um, the footprints kind of paint a uh, story of like where you've been. You know, it's just like a, it's like a foot trail where you've you've gone back, over, left, right. You know. I want to be in front of here. No, I want to turn around and go around here. No, I want to. Yeah. You know, hearts, intestines, brains in a stack. I think skulls did. I don't know if they're like crafting materials at all, to be honest, because they might be. Uh, we do have one iron left. Need those ten sticks. kind of running in the same problem or where to put it, but I'm going to put it down here purely because if I, put more, if I need more than one, I can put more than one and not have to worry about it. town and sell those tools. These guys all together now. I guess I succeeded! No. Probably they uh, disappear at like daytime, and daytime is the uh, ticking of the midday clock. Or something to that effect. I don't know. To be honest, I love goblin noises. Maybe because I'm a goblin. Who are you to fucking judge? I am a goblin. What do you want from me? out, you know? Ugh, I'm trying to think if I need anything for, for any specific reason, you know? Uh, somehow the better...
good saw part. Um, part. There's one more of that and two more stuff. Also, something to be careful if if we're moving uh, removing corpses, because uh, they still decay when you've removed them from the ground. So we need to do be do dip bap dip dip bap dip bap dip bap. Scat man. <laughs> oh boy. Do you need to be careful, so like, if we're removing any of the corpses from the ground, like, so if any of the ones that are pretty good already, so like, I think there's, like, one that's, like, a couple of white skulls, and only, like, two red skulls, or one red skull, you know, then, um, we need to be careful, because we can remove it, put it back in the ground, as long as we're not overly, uh, slow with the process, we'll be able to get our money's worth. Money's worth. It seems to only ever give us back four. Uh, three seeds, but you always need four, so it's kind of kind of garbo. But at least like it to be self-sufficient, so we don't have to really pay for it once. But you know, what are you gonna do? I guess maybe it's some kind of way to, like, enforce you doing it over and over again or something? I don't know. Bushling seeds. Hey, buddy boy, I fixed up this graveyard. It's all pretty and nice. It's of good quality. It's, it's even better than you asked me to do. Fix the graveyard. It's definitely right of you. I hereby pronounce you official keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. Let's arrange your first sermon. <laughs> It'll be a great honor for you. Something, something. So just stand in the pulpit and speak the words. What words? The words. <laughs> Actually, you can just say whatever you want. You know, the place isn't so bad. Put up some extra decorations and some nice candles, music, incense, get it all oiled up for the nice masses, for a nice massage. Long story short, all this stuff will help you get the uh, get faith, and faith is power. Uh, number of very touching words, your flocks will produce more faith. Preacher, bishop told you that you now have arranged church service, so there you go. So, 15 quality, church succeeds, sermon succeeds, uh, hmm, ah, may the force be with you. Haha, <laughs> not so, not too bad, but much, my sermons are much better. You should really prepare for your next ceremony. I think the last prior kept some books with some wonderful words in the church library. I'll probably find some weird stuff in there too. One of the keepers was engaged in scientific research. <laughs> you can throw all that stuff out. Study table, all the books. And then curious mind. You go deeper, you find sense essence of things. Study an item has a chance of giving you a story. I'll spread the word about your next ceremony. Maybe next week something will show up. By the way, as prior it's now you perform duty to perform a weekly sermon on wheel. I said uh I can sell you some accessories for it. <laughs> Also, you have a small task for you. Just talk to me when you're ready. Ugh, I have to get out of here. The air is so dry, my skin can't take it for long. He's not gonna talk to So, I guess we can build more stuff. Nope. Here we go. So, we have some science points. We can research this stuff. So, like, more benches, some candelabras, chandles. Right, this is candles. Uh, flyer. That's what we need. And then they come and they donate. From head of the Royal Treasury Department, we are happy to congratulate you in reopening the, the church and the graveyard. 
and also we are pleased to inform you that by using these lands, you have now become a subject of loyal, royal law on all on-ground structures remain property of the Holy Church. Over all service land and buildings that sit no deeper than one-fourth royal leap, uh, one royal leap, four royal spits, are dictated by the ancient contract belong to the royal family and the town. Though this mailbox, you may now access a vast array of service, services provided by the royal treasury departments. Your taxes also may also be paid by mail. Have a nice day, and remember, King Joe the sixth, seventh, the seventh loves you. Chaos solution. Speed potion. Blood. And that's what that is. Oh, there goes the thief. There he goes. Oh, that's uh, me collecting the red bed. I just keep seeing that red like pop up. Like, so, like, whenever I collect a red point, I flash red. I keep thinking I'm getting damaged somehow or something. I don't know. I did not keep up. Oh, I need science. Okay, how do I get science? I know I don't want to sell you so I can get the research points out of them or whatever. I would assume that the studying table is what that is. the study table. <sighs> we need a wooden beam, which we can't craft until after we have science points. to get science from. Yeah, but how do I how do I salvage paper from that? Maybe the church bench? Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Can I? No, I still need... That's right. I was thinking because I, I want to get cremation, but you just need the five science points as well. stuff off in the chest over here. Daddy, 
gonna have some sausages. Daddy, we're gonna have some sausage. And I'll put these in there too. We can study them, then sell them. I don't know what studying does, so there's no harm in making sure we can do it to all of them. We get a beet seed. But after the next harvest, we should have everything we need to. Succeed in our goals. Oh, evil goals. I don't know why I decided to be evil or to be retarded. I don't know. You decide. The anvil is probably going to replace the uh, wooden anvil. use the uh yeah. I needed two of these so one of those two, I don't know if we need four or two so can't really go wrong with both you know you can you never go, well, I mean, you can't have too much, to be honest, but... Lethargy. We don't need these ones, we have a study table already. We can't even see how that next up. to get 10. I was wondering if it's like can get 10 might get uh, might cost more kind of thing or was it was just they always cost 10 guarantee. I mean I guess it, it's never specified. It, it would probably specify if there was a a, um, a variance in costs. Man the uh, internet has not not fucking been kind to me tonight. Like, normally it kind of buffers out, like, half or so. Yeah, so you skin the crap pig skin paper, which can then be turned into regular paper, bat wings, or human skin. And uh, I think you can go ahead and take a quick guess as to which one we're choosing. <laughs>
Keep one on me. I don't need to carry them both right now. I mean, honestly, carrying one is kind of... Okay, so I just a waste of space, really? Just a waste of space? I don't... Something I'm going to do is dig at least like two extra grave sites just to kind of expend the energy now. So I'm just not concerned about my um, graveyard's quality right now. So I can just kind of expend that extra, extra shot. I wonder if, I wonder if um, old man Mick. The, the astrologer, astronomer, astrologer, astrologer. No, because they said it really weird too. Uh -oh. We'll need some extra because we have to. Um. Fuck it. This was expensive. We'll need some for the quest. We need some for paper. Harvest till next week. Or it was harvested before the next week. Also, I'm gonna end the stream. But you know what? We'll, uh, we'll see for the night on the stream because I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Uh, I don't wanna fucking have to time it up with saving because saving, I guess, is only done through sleeping, I would assume. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitch, do all that stuff. It all helps out. It helps me understand you guys want to watch more of this. I'm having I'm having a decent amount of fun right now. It's kind of it's kind of relaxing. A little bit of uh, a little bit of effort, kind of relaxed. So um, seeing this Pokemon, I should probably go to Planet Zoo back back Planet Zoo. You should get my money's worth out of that game and some other stuff. We'll pick up a story game as well. Well, I guess it's kind of a story game. You know what I mean? But um, just in the bed. um yeah, for now. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, yeah, because I don't have uh, Saturday, it's the only way I work at night. Okay, see ya. Bye-bye.